What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to talk about how to get started with Payload CMS. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Now let's dive in. To get started with Payload CMS, you can go to their Getting Started Guide and their documentation on their website. So you'll go over here to Developers, Documentation, and then you can go down to Installation. And so you'll need a couple of things before you get started with this. There's some required software in order to install Payload on your machine. You'll need any JavaScript package manager, which can be Yarn, NPM, or PNPM. PNPM is what I use, but it is also preferred by Payload CMS. You need Node.js version 20.9 or higher, and any compatible database, so MongoDB, Postgres, or SQLite. And so you can either download MongoDB or Postgres and have it installed on your computer, or you can use a hosted version of either of these databases like MongoDB Atlas or Vercel and connect to them that way. So to get started with a new project, you're going to open your terminal. So I'm gonna pull that up right now. And you're gonna to go to the location that you want to start a new project. So I don't wanna do it at my root. So I'm gonna to go to the desktop and then I have a JavaScript folder. So I'm gonna go there and we changed to that directory. Then you're gonna enter the command npx create payload app. And when you do this, it's going to ask you a couple of questions. First, it's going to ask you if it's okay to proceed with the download of create payload app. I accidentally hit enter, so it just went straight through, and now it's asking me to name my project. So I'm just going to name this payload app. And then I'm going to use the website template, and I'm going to choose a MongoDB. And it'll ask me if I want to name my default MongoDB connection string. That's fine with me. And then it's going to install all the dependencies that it needs using PNPM in order to get this up and running. After a minute or so, you'll see that this succeeded. So mine says payload project successfully created, and here are some next steps. So it tells me how to launch the project. So I could do CD payload app. So I'm just gonna copy that and change my directory. And I could do this in an IDE, but I'm just trying to get this up and running. And then you can use pnpm dev and it should spin up a local host. And so that's how you get started with Payload CMS with a new project. Now to get started with an existing project is a bit more involved, but it's still relatively easy. And to show you how to do this, I'm going to create a new Next.js app using Create Next App. And so I'm gonna navigate back up to my JavaScript folder. And when I do that, I'm going to type in MPX Create Next App and hit Enter. It'll prompt you through a couple of questions again. I'm going to hit yes, it's okay to proceed. And then it'll ask me what my app name is. I'm just gonna do next.js app. And then it'll ask you a couple of questions. I wanna use TypeScript. I don't wanna use ESLint or Tailwind. I wanna use the source directory app router, no turbo pack, no import alias change. And then it'll take a couple of seconds to install and initialize the project and it is done now. So if I go to the next.js app folder and then do pmpm dev, it should load up on localhost 3000. And so there it is now. And so that's just the next.js part of this process. You're going to still need to install relevant packages, including the payload CMS package and a database adapter. And after that, you can copy the default payload files into your Next.js app folder, and I'll show you how to do that. So in the terminal, I'm going to end this session, and I'm going to come down here in the documentation and copy all of these required relevant packages. So I go to the terminal, I'm just gonna paste that in and hit enter. After a few seconds, it finishes, and then I can keep moving on. And so here we need to install a database adapter. And I'm just gonna choose the MongoDB adapter. But again, if you want to use the Postgres one, you are able to do that as well. Now that that's done, you're gonna copy the payload files into your Next.js app folder. So to do that, 
You can either go in and manually copy the files over, but since that's extremely error prone, I'm going to download the files from Payload's Git repository and copy them from there. In order to do this, you need to go to Payload's Git repository on GitHub. So I have that pulled up here. It is the Payload CMS Git repository here. You will need to log in. I'm already logged in, so I don't need to worry about that. But if you don't have a GitHub account, be sure to sign up for one before moving forward. Once we're at the GitHub repository, you'll need to find their main branch, which is this payload right here. When you click on it, you'll see a green code button that you can click on and click download zip. So I clicked on the green button and I'm gonna come down here to click on download zip. It's gonna prompt me to find a place to download this and I'll just do it in this folder. And when I download it, it should only take a couple seconds. I can then open the folder and bring it over here. And now I can see all of the Git repository information here. You'll then need to locate the files you're looking for by going to payload main, templates, blank, source, app, payload. And so this is going to have everything that you need included in it. So I'm just going to copy this and bring it over here to Next.js app and replace these files with a new payload file group here. And so you'll want to make sure that your import map is here and that you have all of the files just as you saw them in the Git repository. In order for the front end to work in tandem with the payload folder, you're going to need to take everything that was in the app folder and put it into its own page group. I'm just gonna select all of these, and on Mac, you can do Command Control N to create a new folder with the items. And I'm just gonna call this front end with parentheses. And so now that that's done, we have a front end folder and then we have a payload folder. So this again was brought in from the Git repository, but the front end comes from the Next.js project that I just created. After that, we're going to need to open the Next.js config file. So I'm gonna come here to our Next config TypeScript. I'm going to open this with my IDE of choice. And then from there, if we go back to the documentation, we can see that we need to add the payload plugin to our Next.js config. So to add the payload plugin, we're going to use with payload in our Next.js, nextconfig.js. And so now that I have the next config open in Visual Studio Code, I'm just going to add with payload to this folder do import with payload, which is the payload plugin from payload CMS next with payload. And then we can just wrap this export default next config with payload. And then we can save that. Now, in order for this to work, we're gonna need to go to our package.json file. So I'm gonna open up our finder window again and go to our package.json and open it again with Visual Studio Code. And then we need to add type module to our package.json file. And so when we do that, there is this caveat here. You will need to update any requires and exports in your next.config file. They'll need to be converted to import and export if they were not already set up that way. So lastly, you'll need to create a payload config file to add to your TypeScript config. So if you haven't already, we're going to add a new file and name it payload.config.ts. And this needs to be at the root folder. So it needs to share the same folder as your tsconfig.json here. And so I'm just going to paste what payload CMS provides here for the default bare minimum. And then you'll save this, head over to your TS config, go down to paths, and you're going to add at payload config, and then have this as a path. And so this is going to point you to this payload.config right here. So I'm gonna save that. And there is one other step that you need to do, and that is to create a payload secret. So I'm just going to add a new file. It's gonna be a .env file, and then I'm just gonna 
take the name that they have here, which is payload underscore secret. And I'm just going to type in a bunch of gobbledygook here. So after you add your secret, you'll need to do one more thing, which is to add a MongoDB string. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna do it here because I'm going to use one of my hosted MongoDB strings. And after you get your MongoDB or your Postgres DB input as a environment variable, you can run pnpm dev. Once it initializes, you can go to localhost 3000 to see the front end. And then if you go to admin, you should see the back end as well. And so since I'm using a hosted MongoDB link here that is currently in use, there's already a user here. But if you didn't have a user, it would ask you to initialize your first user. That's it for getting started with Payload CMS. If you have any questions, please drop them in the chat. While creating a new payload project is rather simple, it can be more involved and tricky to add payload to an existing project. It may require some troubleshooting and some research. Once it's all set up though, it's simple to get started, which we'll be talking about later on. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and get notifications to make sure you're updated on all the content I'll be putting out about payload CMS and how well it ties into Next.js and beyond. I'll see you next time.